If there's something that really gets my goat more than anything, it's when my guys get in the friend zone. So I'm gonna give you three steps to get out of that damn friend zone quickly. Listen, I'm gonna give you this information, babe, but some of this advice, listen, it's gonna change things between you and her. So if you're ready for the situation to change, then you're gonna wanna go and do these, trust me. By the end of this video, you are going to have the confidence to execute on these three things. I got you, boo. I got you, babe. I'm Erica Angelo, dating and relationship expert, 16 years, author, television host, speaker. Darling, you're in good hands. Make sure you subscribe and like this video. So listen, I said in my last video, I'm going to say it in this video, I've been talking about sex a lot. And a lot of you guys were writing in, you were saying, Erica, I don't even have someone that I can practice these things with. And I'm like, oh, babe, it broke my heart. So here I am helping you get out of the friend zone. And the first thing that you want to do is to stop hanging out in friendly events. And what I mean by that is, if she says, hey, you want to go grocery shopping together? You know, some people do do that actually. I just went grocery shopping with a girlfriend today. You're going to say, hey, I can't tonight or I can't today. I'm really busy. Anytime she initiates something with you that is a friend zone event and you know it's a friend zone event, you are going to politely decline. Now you might be freaking out right now going, Erica, but wait, I want to hang out with her, Erica. You don't understand. I will take any golden opportunity to hang out with this woman. Wrong. That's what keeps you in the friend zone is being, I'll tell you that, eventually, but you've got to start saying no to these things because you're just going to stay in the friend zone. So every time she invites you out, because women do this to guys who are in the friend zone, they will keep asking you out, but it's just going to be for friendly events. You, my dear, are going to politely start declining by saying, no, I have this event to get to. So that's the first way you're going to get your ass quickly out of the friend zone is by saying no to friend events. Second one is this, and also really quick, I made a new downloadable free guide for you. If you get stuck in the friend zone, I give you 10 things, 10 signs that you're in the friend zone and how to get out of it. You wanna download that immediately. It's in the comments, it's in the description, completely free, just download it. Made it myself just for you because I've been hearing and reading your comments. So get it right now. The second thing is this. When a woman has a guy in the friend zone, the last thing that she really wants from him is to be touched by him. And you are going to do just the opposite, which means you are going to start putting your hand on her back and you're going to start guiding her into a restaurant. When you guys walk up to a table and you're going out for lunch or dinner together, go over and pull up pull out the chair. So if you're like one of those guys, you're in the friend zone, that touch and those little acts of chivalry, what that's going to do to her is it's going to let her know, oh, things are changing. Okay. My boy, Jimmy is like into me. He's feeling it. Like I can feel more touch or just a little graze of the arm. Or as I've said before, I love when guys do this, but you have to have some balls to do this. It's just removing the hair out of the face. But you're going to start touching her and start seeing how she responds to you. Like, is she revolting or is she just like a little uncomfortable? Like, wow, what's happening here? But what you're doing is you're moving yourself. You're not asking for permission. You're moving yourself out of the friend zone. You're like, enough of this bullshit of just being friends. No, 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 no. I'm going to start putting my hand on your back, guiding you. I'm going to be pulling out the chair and remove the hair out of your face. When you're talking to me, I'm going to put my hand on your arm. That, that is so fascinating. And then let go. That touch gently starts building intimacy because for some of you guys, it might be too much to go zero to 100 real quick and just be like, Hey, I'm so in to you. You know, no, no. I, I know there's common sense. And if you guys have been friends for a while, then there may be some more gentle ways to get your ass out of the friend zone, but make sure you get that guide. If you're still watching this, I want to hear in the comment section, get my ass out 
the friend zone. And the third one is this. You're gonna start getting seductive with your language. That's right, because friend zone guys will just say, oh, your hair looks really pretty right now. Well, us girls say those kind of things to each other, but when she's wearing high heels, you're like, whoo, don't you look really sexy in those heels? But like, okay, the dress is showing the legs and I'm liking it. It's starting to say more sexy things to her, more seductive things to her, I'm like, whoo, those, that red lipstick makes your lips look juicy. When you're in the friend zone, you're not gonna say shit like that, but you are getting your ass out of the friend zone quickly. So you're gonna start using seductive comments to her to indicate to her that you're interested in them more than just being friends. I'm curious out of all of these three, which one you are gonna start doing. And tell me in the comment section, I really wanna hear like out of all these three, which one do you feel like is the one that you can be most actionable with quickly? Cause I want you to get out of the friend zone quickly because it's torture. It's torture when you're in the friend zone and I don't want you to feel tortured like that. So listen, I have thousands of, a th over a thousand videos. I don't wanna say thousands, I have over a thousand videos. But here's a specific playlist that's really gonna support you. Really watch these videos. Take notes, but then go out and take action and apply. I love you and my heart is to see you in a loving relationship because darling, that is what you deserve. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for subscribing. Bye.